Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario 2. In the last part, we were just here at the Creepy Steeple, and we found out Duplis's real name, which is Duplis, obviously. So, um, now we're back here, we're just chasing Duplis back here to the Creepy Steeple so that we may regain our identity. It's kind of funny because he stole our identity first, and then we just stole his. So, I thought, I always thought that that was sort of funny. Because, you know, you gotta steal his to get yours back, but whatever. Anyway, um, go ahead and hit that switch again, and then move the staircase over here, and yeah, let's go. All we gotta do is just make it to the top, and then we'll be good. We can finally take him down, the man in the sheets. Alright, I probably could have what the? Whoa, that's weird. Okay, I didn't know it did that, but whatever. Yeah, it. <laughs> Vivian is definitely an it. Aha. Anyway, um, I have taken the liberty of storing a bunch of items in the store, because I thought that I would have to wait until I was back to being Mario in order to store stuff, but apparently not, which is very good. I was able to store them now, so I have a ton of space again. So yeah. You, hey, you again, a Slick. You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine, I see, I get it. Just put, Let's just put this to an end, shall we? Put an end to this, shall we? Alright, kids, put on your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo, it's -a me! Sure thing, Mario. We're right with you. Uh, this creep couldn't take his own, take us on his own, so he teamed up with the Shadow Siren. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. Uh, you're gonna taste the pain Gonzalez style, Shadow Guy. Yeah, whatever. Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario! Yeah, Mario isn't talking that. Mario? The guy who stole your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario! Yeah, actually. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies. Well, that's kind of mean. You can at least let us, like, think, talk about it for a second. Douche. Yuck, 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 yuck. That's how you can tell he's not Mario. That's a stupid laugh. See, your friends ditch you because you don't have the, char the charisma as me of me, Super Mario. Wow, that's the first time I've ever heard Mario refer to himself as Super Mario. All right, we got Dodgy in our lucky start. That's pretty good. You know, let's start off with a regular hammer. Now, um, one thing I'd recommend is just, uh, you see how he's got Goombella out there with him? Um... If you attack Goombella, you will actually have to go through all your party members and everything. You can, if you want to, attack and kill all your party members. Now, that doesn't last forever, of course. That's just knocking them out of this fight. But, technically, you would just have to fight Goombella if you leave her here. And she's obviously the weakest and stuff, so it'd be better if you just leave her alive. So anyway, I'm, I'm sorry, sis. This Mario's the only person who's ever been kind to me. Alright, Vivian! Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. Yay, we got Vivian on our side. I've, I've made my choice. I'm not turning back. All right, so Vivian has joined us for the fight, which is great because Vivian is good help. All right, let's go ahead and power smash his face. All right. Boom, yeah. Oh, what the? I missed it. How did I miss that? Oh, that's annoying. All right, well, Vivian is going to be very helpful because she can burn people. Yeah, you got burned. All right, I had to make the joke. You knew it was coming. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Yeah, it's good, off. Wrong voice. Aha, you got guarded. Ow, ow, ow. Jeez, that did a lot. Jerk. Goombella, you suck. Right, anyway, super hammer. No, no, no. Power smash. Here we go. Now. There we go. That's better. Do six damage instead of three. Aha, you got hit by something. Jerk. Alright. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now that was a much better turn. Alright, burn. The fire will do steady damage. Alright, go. How dare you try to do this to great Super Mario? How dare you? Yeah, Mario does not talk like that either. Alright, guarded. I'd very much appreciate it, Goombella, if you didn't super bounce me or whatever you did. Alright, now I'm gonna power bounce this guy just because. Yeah, all right, seven. And that's that seems to be where um, Power Bounce cuts off. Where even if you have boosts, at the seventh bounce, you'll always go down to one damage. At least I'm pretty sure. So 
that's usually where it cuts off. So anyway, crack! I have almost had it. Super Mario's hurting. Yeah, and you're also burning. Aha! Uh -huh. You didn't get me because I'm lucky. Aha. Uh -huh. Goobella sucks. All right, now yeah, just one more hammer smash. Let's do it all together now. Let's smack him with the hammer! Boom! Own. Oh. All right. Duplis. No. Why? How? Uh, 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 oh, there we go, finally. That, at least that one, like, came out good. Eek, Mario! Yeah, you're not Mario. I am Mario, sucker. I am the great Super Mario. How dare you? Okay, never mind. I had to do it. All right. There, he has revealed his duplicates. Huh? Oh, what? Anyway. <laughs> Yay, now we are Mario again. Woo! All right, Duplis. What do you want? Rats! You killjoys! Aha! Uh -huh. Run away. What? He ran away. I mean, wait, what the heck? Just what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario? Did we get shell- oh, shell winked instead of hood winked? Dude, you have a hood! Except it's just not over your head. How can I ever mistake my dear Mario for another? Oh, silly flurry! Oh, gosh, you're so- So who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the Saturn Sirens that we never mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps? Well, I, uh... It's like, hey, hold off. Oh, Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Yeah, except for the fact that you betrayed me. All right, uh, listen, Mario, about earlier. I'm happy to be able to travel with you if you'll have me. <clears throat> Jeez. Vivian has really joined your party now. Yay, give us the crystal star as a proposal. To whatever, anyway. This is for you. Uh... I kid, I kid. You guys already know I'm taken. All right, you got a crystal star. Your star power is now five. And Mario learned the special move, art attack. Art attack is sort of. Uh, I could probably do a little bit better with ground tr earth tremor, but whatever. Anyway, end of chapter. I'll be explaining art attack soon. Don't worry. Mario defeated the rogue who had stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has four crystal stars, and that leaves a mere three to more to find, and that means his quest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off toward his next adventure with his new friend Vivian. But what about Beldum and Marilyn, and what became of the doppelganger Duplis? We will never find out! Hopefully, because we don't want to see him again, because he's annoying. But, um... Anyway, we still have a little bit of time left, so let's get on with the interludes. Yay. Oh, wait, no. Vivian, it is so very late. Where has that scatter rain been all this time? <clears throat> Go. What the? Hey, there's... Oh, yeah, speak of the devil, there's Duplis. But anyway, time for the annoying interlude, the one that's totally not fun at all, the peach interlude. Ugh. No one likes your peach. Are you sure about this? Speak up, x not Yes, sir. Quite sure. I poured over all the research at the thousand-year door, and it appears the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Beldum said. Finally, the treasure of legend, the ancient power of darkness, will soon be ours. Listen, and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star Surge top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. Got it, sir. Yeah! Hayao Kaiba! All right, soon I will have the power to have slip for a millennium. Soon, very soon. And when that glorious day da dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the ex regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect ideal world. Yes, a world made by me, about me, and for me. Whatever. Please tell me that the crap there's a peach. Dang it. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, did we actually get through this without Peach? I was like, oh, wait, no, there's Peach. Tech, did you call me? <clears throat> Jeez, I'm having, I'm having trouble with the high-pitched voice. What should I do today? What should I be dancing, perhaps disguising, or will I sing a song or something? I, I am conflicted. Huh? Uh. What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. No, really. Which is more important, carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do. Really? What do you mean? No, no, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. A quiz? 
Okay. That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the questions that I'm about to ask you. If you answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now the first question. All right, was what will happen if you collect crystals, seven crystal stars? Your wish is granted. Thousand year door opens. Duh. Correct. Now the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, the leader of Exonauts? Uh, to become a superhero, <laughs> to conquer the world. We all know this. Correct. Now the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? We will find out what the treasure is in the next part. Ha ha ha! I love cliffhangers. I'm so evil. All right. Anyway, I'll see you in the next part. <laughs>